people, my people, congratulations to the lucky 500th um, <clears throat> follower in Instagram. And if you're watching this on YouTube, then basically get me to 250 and there's going to be a second giveaway. So, because in Instagram, 500's come and gone. We're now looking at 1,000, which is going to be even more massive. It's going to be more given away because I'm just going to be so damn chuffed to be a media empire mogul in my own right. Um, anyway, tonight, where well, I'm going to go south. Go south, young man. Because, well, if I go west from here, I bump into the ocean. Port Phillip Bay. Straight in. Nice. I have to start swimming. And I don't want to go swimming at this time of the year. Why? Because it's cold. Okay. Simple as that. So, I'm not going to go west. I'm going to go south. Might you hit water down there, but never mind. If you go south from here, <clears throat> Victoria, you bump into Tasmania. So, I'm going to do a gin that is upside down bottle. So, see? And then you make sure the lid is on properly. And it still works. It's 40 spotted from Tasmania. And yes, this gin has well and truly been sampled. I've been on the must buy list for a while. And the fact of the matter is, is that I must confess, my children, my twins, were absolutely horrid for the last two weeks. And I don't know, it must be phase of the moon or something. But they were absolutely horrid. We chose to ground them and um, they were the other side of horrid. Um, it was everything short of the head spinning around. And on Saturday night, having had two knockdown drag outs with our twins um, in as many days and basically winning by the scrape of our teeth, Selena and I decided that we needed a stiff drink. And um, basically, this ended the picture. And as you can see how much of it went missing and yes it would there were that sort of battle with my twins so my domestic dramas aside which must be absolutely fascinating for you guys um it's a screw top so but this one's got a really useful screw very large see helps when you're trying to put the lid back on you've had well quite too much of this stuff now, the smell of happiness says dry gin. And no, I didn't look it up before I started helping myself to it on Saturday night. Because on Saturday night, it was a case of either start drinking or... Oh, clever. It's running upside down, isn't it? Um, Saturday night was either start drinking or basically start figuring out where to hide bodies in the backyard. Because those of you who have got kids who say, Oh, I never crossed my mind to kill my kid. You're a liar. Okay. Um, so, what he spotted the... Classic is crafted to highlight the highly aromatic native to Tasmanian pepperberry. Yep, fresh kefir limes, which are not native, and lemon peel, not native again. Dryness, warm to sweet, lingering notes of complementary herbs and spices, clean, fresh, and excitingly complex. It's a spirit designed to excite the curious drinker, and it's out of Hobart. So, this would have to be the most lovely drink of gin I've reviewed so far. As for the whole lot of, um, you know, ex exotic spices, clean, fresh, and exotic, and very complex. Sorry, folks. Um, the TLDR version, after two fights with my twins in as many days, um, this was going for about 60 bucks in my local BWS, and I hadn't tried it before, and it's a case of that's it. Thank you very much. Um, either we start drinking till we like the kids, or we start planning how to bury them and get away with it. Um, and drinking this was the better option. So, it's same, there's kefir lime and all that, and pepperberry in there. Smell of happiness says it's a dry gin, which is what it says on the label. Classic, yeah, classic Tazzy gin. Right. Okay, yeah, coffee or lime. But there's no mistake, this is a dry gin. Um, it's extremely nice and um, on its own.
Oh yeah. Now, so then I wouldn't say they're bad, arguments are bad, but the glasses we were drinking this with um, were about twice the size. Um, as you can see how much is not left in this bottle. So there is ice in this. Let's pour it in. Mind you, Selena and I should not have been surprised that we had knocked down drag out twins because um, we're not exactly weak personalities. And um, you know, one of those moments of stupidity you have before you have kids. And you say, oh, I want my kid to have a strong personality. Yeah. So that Friday and Saturday night, we lived with the result of those prayers coming and those wishes coming true. Our twins have very strong personalities. <coughs> they did not take kindly to being grounded. And, um, well, let's just say the upshot is, is that if my kid's going to scream obscenities at you, he's going to scream obscenities to you in a grammatically contrived, uh, correct fashion because that's what my youngest was doing to me and when I told his oldest brother about it it's a case of oh gee he's still living he's oh gee this is dad <laughs> he's still living dad okay yes I noticed um so yeah that's why so much of this went missing so my personal dramas and I've got an ex-wife too Psst, that's the sound of happiness Drink until we like the kids. And as you can see, some days that's most of a bottle of proof gin, and this stuff is proof. Um, actually, who makes it? So I was too busy drinking this on Saturday night to, and just winding back from the urge to just bury my kids in my back of the cheap patch to find out um, who actually made it. Forty spotted. And it is proof. Yeah, sorry. I said it funny. Um just started drinking until I actually liked my kids. And you saw that I actually took a lot of gin. So never mind. Now for waffling. Here's to um getting letting kids live old enough to tell their kids about how they had knocked down drag ass with mum and dad and survived it to tell the tale. Oh, oh yeah. Because the um, Mediterranean tonic water is really big on the citrus. Oh yeah. Um, this is the second gin in a row that I've reviewed where I'm going to go and, well, I can't tell the wife that this is disgusting because she drank enough to actually like the twins on Saturday night, which meant that about a third of that bottle went away into her, and she's not a big girl. So I can't tell this is a disgusting gin. She's drunk it like this. Yeah. Um, incredibly clean drinking. I'm not tasting the pepper berry. So note to Ported Spotted, who, um, you know, basically, dudes, if you're going to have pepper berry, let's go in the way of organic um, bay and just basically shovel it in because even neat. There is no burn. And I like my burn. So, um, whatever pepper berries they're adding in, just simply not enough. It's a really workable dry gin. Um, obviously, I worked enough of it in my winding back from wanting to kill the twins on Saturday night, but there's I can't taste pepper berries. I can, I can taste the kefir, but I'm not tasting any pepper berries. So this is about to become a longish review. Um, chin Chin, thank you for watching. The 500 followers have come and gone. You're in the market for the 1,000s. I really don't give a... Well, they can't be the same person. Because you. that would be just 
cheating, wouldn't it? And what will I do next week? I will do... Hey, Gems. Again, I promised them, and when I met them at the Gin Festival, I get around, it's a pink gin. What am I looking at? Hill Martin Blushing Pink Fresh Australian Raspberries and Strawberries. So this is another fruit gin. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, follow, stay tuned.